Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel. Well, in this video, let's have a look on the Redmi 10 A smartphone unboxing and quick review. So this is a Redmi recent uh, budget segment smartphone. So which is actually comes under the eight thousand five hundred rupees price segment. So I have given the link in the description. It's actually available in Amazon. So it comes with the three different color variants. So I have actually ordered the black color variant. And apart from that, you will get a blue color and then a gray color variant. So totally, it comes. with the three color variant and comes with the 3 gb of ram and the 32 gb of internal storage which is priced for around 8500 and there is also a 4 gb ram and the 64 gb variant which is priced at 9500 rupees so well first of all let's open the box and after opening the box so here is a redmi 10a smartphone so this is a budget segment smartphone from the redmi brand so this is the so this is the recent launch and as we already said the fingerprint scanner is actually equipped inside this camera module and after that inside the box so you will get a small box so here is a sim ejector pin has been given and after that so inside this box you will get a redmi 10a user manual so there will be a, all the things will be mentioned in this user manual and apart from this so here is a 10 watts charger 10 watts adapter has been given and it comes with the micro usb cable so there is no usb type c it comes with the micro usb port support so micro usb cable is has been given so overall these are all the uh, accessories is contained in this redmi 10a smartphone well now let's have a look on this redmi 10a smartphone quick review well guys now on the physical overview so this is a redmi 10a smartphone so this time it actually comes with the light in weight so and also the thickness is also very minimal so i am already using a redmi 9 power smartphone so on using this smartphone on the regular usage side by side so i have a lot of difference so it has weight comparatively with this redmi 10a smartphone it comes with a very light in weight and also the thickness is also very minimal this time so compared to the last year smartphone so this time uh, redmi has really comes with a great design in the budget segment itself so it comes with a very thin in design and the weight is also very less and it's also comes with a 5000 mah of battery and for 5000 mah of battery it comes with a very uh, good design and also this time no side mounted fingerprint scanning sensor in the budget segment smartphone so instead they are actually brings the rear side this uh, finger print scanner they might be placed beneath this camera module so that will be good for accessing the fingerprint scanner so that are all the one thing and apart from that uh, so the rear side design it's really good so this design is a fully of plastic material but it has a very good gripness on holding the smartphone so once you have actually hold so you will feel the better gripness and also this rear case comes with the fingerprint proof so there will be no fingerprint mark will be shows in the rear side panel and but in the camera module as you seen here you will see the some of the fingerprint mark so that is the one thing so even if you are clean also the fingerprint mark will be comes and uh, here as you seen here it comes with the camera module so it is actually comes with a single 13 megapixel camera only. but it is actually elevated as a four camera design so it has comes with the 13 megapixel single selfie and here is a led flash and here is a 13 megapixel has been mentioned and this is a dummy sensor and here is a fingerprint uh, sensor has been given so and the fingerprint scanner is also responsiveness is very good but the one thing is that the placement is not that much good for regular usage generally a user will actually so move the finger to this side only so if a fingerprint scanner is at this area means it will it will be quite useful for the user experience but they are actually placed inside this camera module but overall the fingerprint scanner is actually detecting very fastly so that are all very good and here is the redmi branding has been given and i really like this back design this is a black color model in addition to that you will also get blue and then gray color model and then moving on to the side here is a sd card slot has been given so it is comes with the 3 gb of ram and 32 gb internal storage so it is supported with the dedicated sd card slot so you can able to put a dual sim card and as well as a sd card as per your wish so and at the bottom here is a speaker grill micro usb and 3 pin and microphone has been given and at the right side here is a volume keys and power on off key has been given and at the top here is a 3.5 jack has been given 
and on the front side so this phone phone is comes with a 6.53 inch ips lcd panel display and it's hd plus resolution only and it comes with the notch design display so inside the notch it equipped with the 5 megapixel of a selfie camera and then in terms of selfie camera also it really works good and the photos are very good in the portrait mode so we'll talk about that in later the display screen to body ratio has been minimal only and after that so at, as you seen at the bottom so the chin sizes are very big bigger and the bezels is also bigger so but it's a budget segment smartphone so we can't able to expect a lot more so but overall in terms of viewing the display qualities i have actually viewed some of the video songs and uh, videos also so some of the hd natural pictures videos so which are all really looks good the screen quality is uh, really good but in a normal usage it's a very good so for this price segment it's enough so and that's the thing and apart from that in terms of physical overview there is nothing else so well, now let's first of all move on to the uh, its camera configuration so it comes with the, the front side with the 5 megapixel selfie 5 megapixel selfie and on the rear side it comes with a 13 megapixel of a single rear camera in terms of camera so it really works good i have actually taken multiple photos i really loved on capturing photos so once you go to the camera application so you will have these modes one is a pro mode and there is a video mode photo mode and then a portrait mode and then you will also have a night mode so in case if you are actually a user in case if you want a better photo quality means just head into the night mode just take a photo in the night mode during the daylight so that will actually gives you a better photo quality you have to hold the smartphone steadily until the photo will actually capture you can able to get this night mode by just going to the more option and there you can able to find this night mode option so i just actually moved this night mode from this area to this area so you can able to get there by default and one thing is that in the selfie mode for the portrait you will not having that hdr mode support so in case if you are actually taking a portrait shot with the background having a heavy light means so the background will be actually blur beautifully but the blurred background will be actually whitish so that's the thing because the portrait mode on the selfie is not coming with the hdr mode and apart from that on the rear side camera the photo mode and portrait mode are comes with the hdr mode support and that's too works really good well now let's look on to this camera samples so now this is the first sample i have actually taken in this smartphone in the inside the room under the normal lighting condition so it's actually really looks good so it's the portrait mode in the selfie so these are all the selfie camera samples and uh, moving on to this so so this is a rear side camera sample i have actually taken this pic by just a 10x zooming so the on zooming also there is a little noise but we you can able to see the whole uh, that subject and next this is also uh, this is also taken in the rear side camera in the inside the lighting and this is also a rear side camera samples so inside your room and this is a photo mode sample inside the room and this is also a rear side camera sample inside the room as you seeing here if you actually take in your photo in a very good lighting condition means it really comes good and the details are very good as you look at this coffee so let's look at all this uh, all the things and the details are very clear in this uh, photo and these are also and this is a portrait mode so so it is also really looks good and in terms of portrait mode the subject edges are really good so it actually really captures the edges so this uh, this is also inside the room rear set camera sample and this is your inside the room portrait camera samples and these are all the some more samples and this is a selfie sample and in terms of selfie as i already said so in the selfie camera if you actually take in your in your portrait shot or something means so there is no hdr mode so in case if your background is actually comes with a heavy lighting like this means so here is the light has been there so that's why so in case if you have a heavy light means your subject will actually becomes black so that's why this photo is comes to the black but apart from that you are actually going going away from that uh, background light means you will get a better photo quality so this is also a selfie with a portrait it has comes with a very good subject and the details are really good and this is also a selfie mode so just look at the uh, details so it's a actually a 8k smartphone but it actually comes with a very good details in, so in case if you are actually take a photo under a very good light condition means it really gives you a very good uh, photo quality and uh, the photo is actually real, comes with the real picture it's not uh, having that artificial imaging and also the details are really good so that all the good thing so and also during uh, while you are going to the camera application by default uh, on the first time if we are go to the selfie mode means so this beautification has been uh, 
comes at this area so you have to make this beautification to the zero level then only you can able to capture the natural pictures so after that only if you take a selfie means so your photo will actually looks like yours only so in case if apart from that if you actually enable that beautify means so it will not it will actually looks like an artificial selfie so I'll let me share you some of the photo samples here and, and also I post a separate camera review of this Redmi 10A smartphone in the upcoming days Well now apart from that this Redmi 10A smartphone is comes with the MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11 operating system and in terms of UI it's as usual the same UI we have already seen in the Redmi smartphones so there is a nothing a major difference all the UIs are same so in the future may I also post a separate uh, top 10 plus features of this Redmi 10A smartphone in the upcoming days and after that uh, it comes with the MediaTek Helio G25 browser and so far I have actually used the cameras for a 30 minutes and also I have used YouTube for some uh, 30 to 1 hours 30 minutes to 1 hour like that so on using this all this time it not having that much heat but it's a budget segment smartphone it comes with the Helio G25 browser it is actually capable of uh, using a minimal purpose only so in case if you are an ardent gamer and you are often playing games means during at the initial stage it will actually works but at a long term period it will actually fails so i am already using the redmi 9 power smartphone so during the initial segment it actually really works good only and once at a particular period of time after that you will actually full your phone phone storage so during that time your phone will actually becomes lag one thing you have to do is that always keep your smartphone storage so to be at the minimum level so in case if you have a 32 gb of storage means so you have to free you have to make a at least a 50 percentage of storage to be free so then only you can able to use your smartphone more efficiently so that is the thing so in case if you are actually fully your maximum storage means so then your smartphone will actually become a lag so because if you are often using more apps and if you are often using more uh, games and uh, more online streaming you are doing so in case if you are actually filled up your total storage means it's actually becomes a lag so that is the one thing so it's a budget segment smartphone so for a normal usage it's
it's really good and in terms of battery segment it comes with a 5000 mAh battery and having a 10 watts of uh, fast charging adapter too it supports a 10 watts of fast charging as well so it is comes with a 5000 mAh battery but it's very slim it's all very good and in terms of battery consumption in case if you're a normal user means it definitely comes for uh, up to two days and if you are a uh, more aggressive user means it also comes for at least one day and uh, for charging so it's a 5000 mAh battery comes with the 10 watts of fast charging only it actually takes three to four hours for complete a full charge well guys finally this is my unboxing and uh, quick impression and this camera samples video of this redmi 10 a smartphone and if you like this video hit the like button and in case if you are a redmi 10 a user means let me know let me know how's your experience in the comment section below and also let me know how you are like this redmi 10 a smartphone and also so post your comments in case if you are having any doubts in the comment section below and that's it about this video and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys